The comparisons have been made. The potential has been talked about. And Saturday during the mock game, Tariq Woolen showed that he is a really intriguing player. Hello 12s, I'm Jen Mueller with your Seahawks Daily and the wide receiver turned cornerback turned on the Jets on Saturday and found his way into the highlights. He's a, he's a physical specimen. I mean, he's amazing. Uh, he's taller than me and uh, a lot faster than I am. So, you know, when you're trying to you know throw passes on a guy like that, uh, you really can see like his wingspan. I mean, he can he can make a ton of plays and uh, not many guys who can run you know step for step with DK Metcalf and, and Marquise Goodwin, but he's one of them. And uh, I just feel like speed, my greatest asset. I, I ran track my whole life, played football my whole life, and you know just throughout the whole process of getting here and. Just getting faster and then throughout the whole combine process, you know, you always train for 40s and stuff like that. So you know, I just felt like all that speed just carried through the, throughout the years. And now it's just I can show it to the world and show it to my teammates, too. So it's pretty cool, you know, being a fast guy on the team and just being able to run with, you know, Olympian with Marquise Goodwin and then with a stallion like DK, you know, that dude a beast. So it feels good to be able to keep up with those guys. Combined speed, he ran a 4-2-6 at the combine, and a 6-4 frame with his ability to think like a wide receiver, and he could cause headaches for quarterbacks. He's a really good player. Um, he makes you think a little bit at the line when it's, all right, I know I got a one-on-one -on -one with, with number 39 out there, but um, we better got a guy that can fly by him because if there's any ball within the area, he's going to be able to get his hand on or in that case his head on. So. An injury to Sidney Jones gave the fifth round pick a chance to get extended time with a first team defense during the mock game. He nearly recorded an interception and then became the victim of a funky bounce that showed he was in position to make the play. Honestly, I, I thought I did a good job. I mean, it was still good coverage, but you know, you got to finish the play. And I was just thinking the ball may have went out of bounds or something, or uh, I was just looking at the net, you know, I turn around and he's laying on the ground like this with the ball. And I was like, oh, wow. So it was just, you know, a good play, though. This was really good work for him. He's out there with, uh, you know, with Quandre and, and with Jamal hollering at him and all that and getting, you know, getting lined up and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so it was a really profitable day for him. For a rookie who played less than two full seasons at the position, he seems to be making a relatively smooth and quick transition to corner. Of course, it's almost a requirement given the wide receiving core he's going against every day in practice. Whenever you look at a player and that, that's a great cornerback, at practice they'll go, they go against great receivers. So they're going against DK, Tyler Lockett, Marquise, you know, Freddie, all those guys, and being able to work with them and knowing if I do my job versus them on Sunday, it'll make it a lot easier. So just going against them has been a lot of help. Tariq said he has not had a chance to meet Richard Sherman yet, but acknowledges that he would love to have a conversation with one of the founding members of the Legion of Boom, given how much of Sherm's film he watched in college.